Where is he? I'll come get him. Here he is. Our friend Dorfman's a bit impatient. In, in, in 1851, Henson and Stringfellow. Hey there, this is James. I want to interrupt just for a second. You see Jimmy Stewart walking out with these, what looks like a super-sized shotgun shell in his hand? This is for real. Radial engines back then used a very popular system called the Kaufman Starter System. It was a huge cartridge, like a small round for very small artillery, but there's no bullet, and it would go bam, shoot hot gas in there and spin the starters. I flew radial engines a long time ago when I uh, had hair and all that kind of stuff, but I was fortunate I had the electric inertia system where it would spin up and then go. So as long as you had battery power, you'd keep starting, but with the Kaufman system, you could only start the number of shells you had, then you were done with. Look at this exciting end to the movie as they start the Phoenix. Built a rubber piled model aircraft that flew 600 meters before encountering an obstruction. Did you know that, Mr. Sarge? That's great. No, not great, but significant. I understand those are the only cartridges we have. If you fail with them, my work has been wasted. The moment the engine fires, throttle back. Too much unnecessary vibration could shake the structure to pieces. Vibration must be kept to a minimum. Clear. That's number one. Nothing wrong with that engine. Maybe you ain't giving it enough juice. Three. But he, he should know, shouldn't he? He does know. Wait! Wait! You're wasting the cartridges. We have only three left. I know that. What are you doing? I'm going to use one cartridge, ignition off, clean out the cylinders. No! What 
are you doing? Stop! I forbid you! I forbid you! Do you hear me? I forbid you!